This is Neil Osterweil. I'm speaking with Dr. Ann Blaze from the University of Minnesota, who's the lead investigator on a study of endothelial function in patients on aromatase inhibitors. Dr. Blaze, what was your most significant finding um, in this study? So we examined, we looked at women with breast cancer, a curative intent that were prescribed aromatase inhibitors, and we asked, we compared them to healthy postmenopausal women. What we found, we asked them to come in and undergo vascular testing with a device called CR Profiling 2000, as well as Endopat. Endopat actually looks at how the vessels relax and contract. It gives us an index and is a predictor. It's sort of the early parts of a spectrum of cardiovascular disease or atherosclerosis. What we found is that women who were on aromatase inhibitors had a significantly reduced endopat index at 0.8 compared to our healthy postmenopausal controls at 2.6 with a statistical value of P less than 0.0001. We controlled for blood pressure and we still saw this value. And to me, this suggests that with the use of aromatase inhibitors, women um, do have some changes in endothelial function. The large clinical trials that have been done up to this time look at end-stage atherosclerosis or MI or cardiac death. I think that what we're seeing are changes that are ongoing in the vessels much earlier than that, but are still significant and are happening. And do these have to do, these changes, um, in your opinion, with changes in hormonal function uh, from the drugs? Yeah, if I had to hypothesize, you know, why do we think this was going to occur or why do we hypothesize or do this study? So women who are on aromatase inhibitors have a, have a very significantly reduced level of estradiol. We measure that in this study and even when a woman is postmenopausal, when, when a woman is prescribed an aromatase inhibitor, their estradiol levels actually will be reduced even further. Estradiol is part is an important part of elasticity in blood vessel, blood vessel measurement and I believe that's why we are seeing these changes. Now you don't you're not suggesting that women should not be taking aromatase inhibitors because of these findings just that this might inform clinical practice? Yeah, I, so I'm a practicing medical oncologist. I prescribe aromatase inhibitors regularly and I will plan to continue to do that. We know aromatase inhibitor use and endocrine therapy as a whole in women with estrogen receptor positive breast cancer can prolong survival and prolong disease-free survival, particularly in those first five years when these medications are given. There's more controversy about what do you do after five years and whether we should be keeping women on these medications longer than that. Um, to me, in those situations, and what does our data suggest there, I think it's probably a whole separate conversation, but I think that if there is not a survival advantage to staying on a medication for 10 years, for example, then we do need to weigh the risks and benefits of the medication. Um, so in answering your question, will I prescribe it? I will continue to prescribe it. I think what our data suggests is that it's also really important that we continue to assess somebody's cardiovascular risk. And then we also look at other risk factors, things such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, tobacco use, obesity. And these are really important as part of our practice. And part of that is breast cancer survivors are living longer and longer. Thank you, Dr. Blaze. Thanks.